Imagine you missing the opportunity of being one of the greatest minds of your generation just because you gave up on your dreams after you were expelled from school. Just imagine. Don't worry, you definitely understand the reason why I made this statement before the end of this episode. Hello and welcome to another episode of History's Most Influential Humans where yours truly talks about the history, lessons, wisdom and so much more of the lives of some of the most influential humans who walk this earth. So today we'll be learning about a man some would probably know about, that is if you are or were a physics student in secondary school or university. Frankly, I don't remember being taught anything about him in physics class. Probably due to the fact that the way they taught physics and still teach physics in secondary school and even in university is so boring and to be honest, I didn't really pay attention to most of it. But that doesn't make me an unserious student by the way. So I'm sure majority of people would have heard about x-rays before, whether in physics class or in an hospital. But do you know the interesting story of how it was discovered and the brilliant or should we say lucky man who discovered it, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen? Well, you're about to. The German physicist Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen was born on 27 March 1845 to Frederick Conrad Röntgen, who was a German merchant and clothes manufacturer. He attended high school at a technical school in Netherlands until he was said to have been unfairly expelled from high school when one of his teachers accused him of drawing a caricature of another teacher drawn by someone else. In case you do not know the meaning of caricature, don't be bothered, I checked it in the dictionary too and you might not understand it if I explain it to you. After Rodgen was expelled, he still tried applying for admission into different universities even without a high school diploma until he found out that he could enter the former Federal Polytechnic Institute in Zurich where he passed the entrance exam and began studies as a student of mechanical engineering. And in 1869, he finally graduated with a PhD from the University of Zurich, finally. In 1875, he became a professor at an academy of agriculture for a short time before returning to the University of Strasbourg as a professor of physics in 1876, <laughs> one road no enter market for Baba. In 1895, Rotgan accidentally discovered the X-rays while he was performing an experiment with a vacuum tube, a glass container in which a beam of electrons light up a fluorescent tube and the effects of electricity on them. Please don't stress your head trying to understand it, it's physics. He named the rays X-rays in relation to the unknown mathematical variable X because he had no idea what he had discovered yet. He then went on to elaborately investigate his new accidental discovery in secrecy. Six weeks after his discovery, he took the first X-ray picture known as a radiograph of his wife's hand and when she saw her own skeleton on the picture, she exclaimed, I have seen my death. Which doesn't sound weird if you accidentally see something like that for the first time ever. Rottingham published a book on his newly discovered x-rays named On a New Kind of Rays on December 1895. He won numerous awards, recognition and medals after this, which include an honorary doctor of medicine degree from the University of Wurzburg, Romford Medal, Mattel C Medal, Elliot Christon Medal, and in 1901, he was awarded the first ever Nobel Prize in Physics. Wow, to me, that is a wonderful achievement. But here's the shocker. Roskin donated all the reward money gotten from his Nobel Prize award to promote scientific research at his university. And he also refused to personalize, or should I say, monetize his X-ray discovery, as he said that he wanted the society as a whole to benefit from his phenomenal discovery. Something the majority of people won't do in this current century if they had the opportunity. Unfortunately, Rotgen died of carcinom of the intestine, also known as colorectal cancer, on 10th February 1923. It's been 125 years after the accidental discovery of X-rays from the influential German physicist Wilhelm Conrad Rotgen, and his pioneering experiment on X-rays has helped and will still continue to help in producing countless of radiographs aimed at saving lives in the field of medicine. Currently, millions of radiographic scans are done every year in hospitals and clinics worldwide to treat diseases and save countless lives, which is why Wilhelm Conrad Rotgen would forever bear the title Father of Radiography. So that's a wrap on episode 6 of History's Most Influential Humans, guys. I hope you learned a lot so far, and if not, I shall made you check the mini of caricature. So that's something. Till the next episode, fans, I'm Larry Mapa, out.